And there are a few things parents look forward to less than <laughs> traveling with small children. That's Joining true. us <laughs> is someone with a lot of insight in how to make those travels just a little bit more bearable for everyone. Joining us now is local blogger Adrienne Woods. You're a former flight attendant, and yep. you also she's a mother of four. So Adrienne, you yep. have probably seen every kind of travel meltdown that exists. I'm I've seen <laughs> I've seen a lot of travel meltdowns. A have lot you of been travel meltdowns. Involved in any of those? I travel have, meltdowns. and <laughs> I have been personally involved with my own children. So how do uh, we yes. get past those? How do we make those? hopefully not even happen at all. Okay, so my first tip for traveling with your kids is sit down with them the night before, two nights before, whatever, and set your expectations. Mm. Tell them what to expect yeah. because kids are creatures of habit. They like predictability. They like to the know routine. what's coming next. They like the routine. And so sit down with them and show them a map of where you're going. We're going from point A to point B and mm -hmm. this is where we're going to stop or and, things like that. And kind of talk about that airport environment because yes. that's something we're not subjected to every day. That's exactly. And it's frustrating for, it's just as frustrating for kids as it is for the adults. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, it is the busiest travel holiday of the year, the day before Thanksgiving and the Sunday after is the second biggest. Huh. And so you've got kids, you've got <laughs> parents, you've got people mad, you've got them yelling at, you know, like just so much going on. Huh. And so it's hard yeah. and kids get caught up in that because they know how you like they can see how you're reacting so and I have found with my kids when I do talk to them like before I go into a store these are this is what I expect right. to do these are the rules it seems like they do it a goes lot better. better it really it goes a lot smoother so one of the things that you can start with your kids is I found this on a blog and I'm like this woman was sheer genius <laughs> she made these little bags for her kids like these little tote bags okay. mm -hmm. you could do like a little coin purse for little girls or something too and she gave each of her kids a roll of coins. So like the older ones, a roll of quarters, the, you know, dimes, pennies, nickels, whatever. And she said, this is yours, but anytime you're whining or complaining or crying, you owe me a quarter or you oh, owe me a dime. Okay. Yeah. And so, you know, money talks with a lot <laughs> of kids. And so by the end of the vacation, if they had all their money, whatever money they had left, that was theirs to keep. Oh, wow. Uh huh. And so I'm like, you know, I think that's brilliant. Yeah. I think brilliant. that really is smart. So, you know, set your expectations. Tell your kids what to expect. Mm -hmm. they, I think they appreciate it and you can appreciate it. You can say, you know, we rem remember we talked about that. Yeah. Um, the next thing is start with a good meal. Mm -hmm. Start with a healthy breakfast. You don't want to run out the door, hand your kid a Pop-Tart, run in to get on an airplane. <laughs> they're crying and screaming and they're tired and they're hungry and they've had that sugar high and now it's dropped off. Mm -hmm. Feed them something healthy. Okay. So, okay. next thing, when you're in a car, one of the best things we did for our boys when we were moving here from Utah, books on CD. Oh. Brilliant. Sometimes car time is a family time. Uh -huh. Use that to educate your kids. Mm -hmm. okay. My boys, we were listening to these for like several months, traveling back and forth to visit my husband. And he, um, I had a kindergartner who wasn't reading. And by the time we moved up here, he was reading on a third grade reading level oh, in, really? in four months. So wow. it made a big, big difference. It made difference. a difference because they hear how things are supposed to go. Mm -hmm. And it works. So what's another thing, inside the jar? what's inside the jar? It's a game jar. So these are like games. You can pull it out, ask your kids questions, have them look for certain things. But, you know, when they get bored, pull something fun out like that. All right, Libby, what's the best thing about this trip so far? It's almost over. <laughs> it's <laughs> um, really quickly, we're almost out of yes. time. Kay. Healthy snacks. Healthy snacks. Don't get a lot of sugar. Use something healthy. Fruits, proteins, okay. things like that. If you're on an airplane or in a car, Wrap little presents from the dollar store, mm -hmm. stuff them in a backpack, and put a time stamp on them. Oh. So, okay, it's 1 o'clock. You can open the 1 o'clock present, or you mm -hmm. can open the 1 o'clock snack, something like that. To be okay. opened on our layover in Atlanta. Exactly. <laughs> All kinds of fun little games. Fun little games and toys. Make them lightweight. You don't want to carry a bunch of stuff no. on the airplane. All the bulky right. stuff, all the heavy stuff. Go easy. Okay. But have something for your kids to entertain them, because those flight attendants are not there to entertain. They're there to keep you safe. <laughs> right. Okay. So, and right. respect That's others, important. and remember that... Be if nice. you don't have children and you are someone that has a screaming child, know that they're frustrated and they're really trying to take care of their children yeah. That's true. and make it through the holidays. All right. Thanks Thanks so uh, much. For more ideas like this, can they go to your blog? Yes, freetimefrolics.com. I've got 12 tips to oh, travel with your cool. kids. Excellent. Very Thank you. cool. And coming up, the return of plaid. When we come back, fall fashions for men.